welcome you. I'm, I'm thrilled to have back on my buddy Mike Mostert. He is the inventor and founder of Go Go Tuners. Yeah, thanks we, for having us. You, my pleasure. Yeah. And also Andy Sinisi, which I know your work from Frankie Valley, you know, Missing Persons, your own band, which is uh, Blanco Diablo. Yep. And then uh, so many other artists, you know, Johnny Rivers, the list goes on and it's on. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> To say you know, the least. And, and I think it's so cool that you're playing on on Mike's album, which is the Go Go Family Go Go Tuners Family album, and uh, that you became a part of this. I listened <clears> to <throat> the track, and it sounds great. Yeah, it was a real joy to make the record with Mike. We've been friends a long time, and you know, it was one of those mistakes that's been this whole thing with this record. I think the record was a mistake to begin with. It's just been these series of coincidences that yeah. has led me to, to this point. Yeah. And Andy was another one. We I ran into each other at a, dr a drum shop uh, party. At a drum party. <laughs> and that's where all the best people hang out. Clearly. <laughs> well, I had a few beers in them, so I think everything I was saying made perfect sense to him at that point. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> well, and you guys have known each other for years, though. Mm -hmm. And then so when you invited Andy to be a part of this project, as you have so many other of your GoGo -Go roster members, it's like it just kind of fit. Yeah, it, it was a very odd thing. He goes, hey, Mike, what are you doing? I go, oh, I'm working on this Go-Go record. I explained the concept, and he was like, okay, can I play? Yeah. And there was actually some other tracks on it from another drummer. I'm like, okay, we're getting Andy in. There it is. Wow. And, and then I just expanded uh, Andy's role in, in the record. He ended up doing, I think, three songs with us. Yeah. A couple yeah. at my studio, a couple at another studio. Yeah. So, yeah, it was fun. Came together really organically. And well, and natural. I got to bring up, too, Andy, that, you know, you're based out of Santa Monica, but it's like you're touring the world and even going to Japan this fall? Yeah. Believe it or not, Frankie uh, Valley at 85 years old is not afraid to go to Asia and, you know, do his thing that he's been doing the last... 55 years that he's been in yeah, the business. Yeah, when you and I were joking, too, we were talking about, you know, when <laughs> Greece came out, and everybody's like going, wow, how's Frankie going to keep doing this back when Greece came out? How much longer can his career possibly last? How so can this go on? 40 and, more years. Yeah, and just like with Jersey Boys and everything, and then you're out on the road with him. The guy's, Thank, the guy's yeah. got the work ethic of a teenager. He's, he's incredible. Well, you Very know, and cool. I, I got to bring up, too, to where, you know, you and I bumped each other at a NAMM show uh, with your uh, DW drums. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've been with them a few days. Uh, well, we've been, uh, I've been a DW endorser since, I think, 08. Wow. Yeah, so. Great they, drums. Yeah, they absolutely are. Great, great people, too. Yeah. They're family. You know? I totally agree. Well, and speaking of family, Mike, it's like, how did you choose the musicians <clears throat> to be a part of the Go Go Tuners family album? Because when you pitched me this concept like a year or so ago, I said, right. it's great. How are you going to do it? And I know for you, you and I have talked over the <laughs> right. months to where... There have been a lot of sleepless nights because you're playing on it, right. you're, you're co-writing, you're producing. Right. You know, this is not a simple little project where you hand it off to somebody and go, hey, let me know when this album's well, done. That's been a big undertaking that I was not expecting. Yeah, not, of, not like starting a pedal company of tuners or anything. No, that's, that's easy. <laughs> that's a lot of frequent flyer miles. Easy, you know? very easy stuff. <laughs> no, it's, it's sort of, um, I was like, well, who, who would fit on this? Gotcha. And like Andy has a certain style oh, yeah. and Johnny Highland has a certain style. Each, person has their yeah. own unique style. Guitar Phil, Morgan Miles, right. Southern Halo. Right. The, you know, uh, the Mana guys, Andrew yeah. Boucher, I mean, uh, Oscar Kataya. I mean, the, the, the roster is just Yeah, it, it's just kind of amazing that you're able to meld all these into this one concept album. And you, you released your first track last week, and you're going to have more single tracks coming up, but then mm -hmm. the full album in October, right? All right, second Friday of October. Wow. And they can check uh, gogotuners.com or Instagram. It'll be released on, I think, 150 platforms. You'll see videos of it on YouTube. It, it'll be everywhere. Nice. I think it's such a great idea, too, Mike, that you're doing it to where you're going to have tidbit videos and everything focusing on the artists that are exactly. involved in it, which, uh, you know, it's always been fun watching your videos over the years when you come to Nashville and different places, hanging out with some of your uh, musicians that are using GoGo -Go in the field. Yeah, I really want to show off the artists in a different light, you know. I think, um, you know, like with a lot of artists, they're seen only in a certain genre. Right. And they have a certain fan base. So I want to expose them to a different fan base, and, but bring their influence to the track. Right, right. Not to change it into another style, but their influence in a track. Well, you know, and, and like on the first track, too, that Andy's on, I know he's on several tracks on the album, it wasn't what I expected. Because, you know, when I listen to your other tracks, I'm like, well, you know, I know that you grew up, you know, right. as, as a musician and, and having your songs on movies and TV. Right. I kind of expected metal. You know, metal or shred. And <laughs> then I listen to this. There is one shred song on there. Yeah, and then I listen yeah. to this, I'm going, well, that kind of surprised me. Yeah. 
There's many layers yeah. of Mike Mosley. You're like a tiramisu of music. Bloom and onion, if you will. <laughs> An artichoke. <laughs> but it's just, I found it very interesting. You know, as you were writing the songs and you were telling me about this, it's like, what a journey for you and for the musicians you worked with. Yeah, it was, um, like I said, something that was unexpected. Each time I was writing, and then I'd write another part and, or add a part, and like, okay, now I, I need a different musician on it. Right. And we would add that musician. That would add a different color. Right. And then I would switch another music, and then we just kept changing the songs. Well, and the other problem, too, is that you keep adding, you know, musicians to the Go-Go family. So right. it's like, okay, well, maybe we should add them. <laughs> These are good problems. Yeah, These it are. is. It's a good problem. We saw about 40, 50 uh, artists that still want to do it. Wow. Right. So, so that will be volume two. Volume two, three, four, five, I'm thinking. At least. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I just, I think it's so much fun whenever you came up with this idea, though, because, you know, so many of the artists that you have that you're involved with, I've had on different shows. That's right. And I know how talented they are. And so, you know, when I, when I get to hear them in this different context with your songs, uh, I think the viewers are just going to be amazed. I mean, this isn't just a go-go tuners album. This is a showcase of incredibly talented musicians. Yeah, I think it's good. It's going to take the, the listener to a different journey. You would never expect, I, I don't really want to give it away, but you wouldn't expect them to go from this style to this style to a third or fourth style all within one song, and it makes perfect yeah. sense. Well, it's like you're taking their individual personalities and frame, framing them in different ways that aren't typical, uh, typically known for these different artists. Like the guys from Mana, you typically are thinking like there's going to be more of like a Latino yeah. kind of flair to it, but not in... It's well, I, th I think that speaks to, and, to you as well, Andy. Yeah. Like we were talking about before we came in studio, yeah. you've played with so many musicians all over the world, and it's like, and you're not locked into one style. Well, that's my kind of my thing is I'm the, I'm the utility guy. I could play like folklore, Cuban music, death metal, straight ahead jazz, country, whatever. And I'm maybe like, a popular cajon jam, that uh, video that went viral, I understand. Oh dear, let's... let's the eat in the morning video? <laughs> let's, let's put that in the past, you know. And where can they see that video? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that on your website, Andy? Yes, it's the first thing that comes up. <laughs> I should have a website. You know? It's just so, with all your gigs and, and touring with Frankie, yeah. you know, and, and playing in Nashville here, you know, this past month, and, and with all your other tours with, with Frankie. Yeah, this, it was playing with the, uh, the Nashville Symphony was really a great experience. In that room. Amazing. Oh, Ab my absolutely gosh. Absolutely amazing. So amazing. Well, you know, Mike, like I said, you know, and obviously with the track that released last week, there's going to be more single tracks coming up, full album in October. Where can viewers find the singles? You know, download it, buy it, get the whole album. Where do you want to send them? Well, you can go to gogotuners.com, and that will lead them to iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, YouTube, and about another 150 platforms. Wow. Are there that many? Wow. You have they, gone, you have gone big with Crazy. this, Mike. You know, it's like when you started this out, I thought, oh, this will be a fun little project. Right. And it'll it's be just cute. Kinda, That's cute, Mike. That's cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, oh little project. you have fun. Yeah. No. yeah <laughs> I, I got that a lot as I was starting this pro but, but process. But I knew when you were working on it and you would like, you know, text or call me like in the middle of the night or on weekends, I'm like going. <laughs> Never happened. It, it was like, where's Waldo but with Mike? Yeah. You know, because you were flying everywhere to well, record with all these musicians where they were. Yeah, and we got to record in New York, Philly, Ventura, California, Los Angeles, Santa Monica. Muscle Shoals, Nashville. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, we were, and again, I think we were sort of lucky that... Um, it's a bi-coastal album. It's just been all these, I, I call it accidents, you know. Happy accidents. Happy accidents where we ended up actually getting our record mastered by um, this guy, Don Shrigley, who is the, the, uh, the chief engineer of, of um, fame at Muscle Shoals. Oh, yeah. Wow. And, um, and, yeah, I, I didn't know who he was, but everyone's, everyone in town was like, that's the guy. Yeah. And then after the fact, they tell me, do you know this guy? I'm like, but he, he messed with my record, and I looked it up on Google. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He's done some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he might know what he's doing. Well, I'll tell you what, listening to the songs, and, and obviously the track that came out last week, love it, and, and all of the songs it. on here. And I think that our viewers are going to really dig it, It's been it a work too. of love and hate. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully more love. A lot of love. <laughs> and I'm happy with great friends. Yeah, man. You know? Well, uh, be sure and check it out. Go to Go Go Tuners. The first track came out last week, but more to come. Full album in October. Go Go Tuner's family album, and uh, with the family, and with Mike, and uh, I think you're going to love what you hear, and just another reason to check out the Go Go Tuner's. Thanks for watching the Rock Interview. Thanks for having us. You bet.